walk through how to connect Airtable and make our adjustments to our dynamic list blocks, we need to repeat that process on each page that we have dynamic list blocks uh, already occurring or that we want to put them. So in this template, that starts with us under hosts. So we're gonna come to browse hosts and take a look at this dynamic block over here. So just as we did on the main home screen, you'll need to click on the block to expand the right hand panel out and make adjustments here as needed. So review each section in detail, including your inline filters, adding more filters to whatever is relevant and walk through each item. Now, as you can see, this layout is a little bit different than probably what looks like on your screen. Here's the initial layout. If you don't want that layout, you can always add a new block as I've done here by simply clicking the plus sign, hitting dynamic lists, choosing the appropriate block, and then walking through all the connections until you make the adjustments to get to the style that you like. So remember when you're using templates that the uh, template that's here and the blocks that are here can always be removed and restyled according to your preferences. So you wanna be sure that you go through each one of these pages to be sure that you're capturing and adjusting, updating this according to your marketplace. For us, that would be under browse hosts. We'll also need to look at our listing details page so the listing details is a little bit different type of block, but still requires the same information. So we're gonna hit the plus sign to add a block, come to dynamic, and it will always be list details. So high level information from your Airtable base comes through the list blocks and detailed information comes from the list details. You can see the different options here. So we're on our uh, details page for the listings, but You'll also have a details page for your host profiles, which uses a layout like this. So go ahead and add in new blocks, or if you're comfortable with the block that's there, make sure that it's set correctly and your list item fields are all adjusted. Again, paying attention to the different links and payment links, if this is something that you are using external payment links, or maybe you're going an extra step and integrating some payment links here in Softer. So walk through the listing space details, the host profiles, which has a list detail screen here, and then also has a general listing here, similar to what's on the home page but we've gone ahead and added some conditional settings here, being that it's a host email is host email, so that these listings are only relevant to the logged in host profile they're viewing. That may not be uh, relevant to the marketplace that you're building, so go ahead as you work through the template and delete out some of these blocks that don't make sense. Pay attention as you're working through these blocks to the different locks as well. This will let you know that there are certain user groups and always remember that you click on that block and look at the visibility settings here to see which user groups it affects, making adjustments as you go. Other things you'll need to keep in mind would be the London listings, Miami listings, and split listings. As we touched upon earlier, these all have conditional settings around what's being viewed. So again, make adjustments or delete these pages if unnecessary. Work through the remaining pages to set up all of your Airtable lists and list detail screens to be sure that the information is tied correctly to Airtable, making any adjustments as you go in Airtable for your content and hitting refresh. Once we're all done with this, we'll work through our forms and how to connect those.